Hello and welcome to more Daco 101. I am your host Rob and no this is not a looted wagon update video. I know I know I said the next one would be. I also said there would be no more unboxing videos but but I have to make an exception. This unboxing is something that I won a long time ago. Um, I don't know if you remember, but it would have been months ago, um, and I can't remember if it was the first time or the second time, maybe, when Bill Terrenaholic and his wife and a couple of other channels all got together and were doing this weekend blitz thing where they would, you know, they they're posting videos like all the Friday through to the Sunday uh, constantly and they were trying to you know they had a goal and they were trying to do something and um, this involved a couple of other channels and everybody was doing sort of like a, a contest um, so you were subscribing to everybody and following everybody and I do know that um, our friends over in Scotland participated not officially but I believe they 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 did their own videos for it and continued on after that um, but I don't know if this was the first time or the last time but anyways I won one of the contests um, which was from uh, Highland Terrain Studio um, from uh, a guy named Steven and his channel and what he was doing was a lot of um, actually a lot of the channels at during that thing we're all making foam working with foam I mean Bill Terrainaholic he works with foam uh, Highland Terrain he makes he, he has the these uh, uh, he makes foam walls and, and such um, and then one of the other guys he was I think he had just released his his castle wall system um, and Bill was helping promote that and uh, everybody was sort of getting together trying to get you know basically get subs for everybody but anyways I won this and I'm talking months ago months and months and months ago and uh, you know we, we exchanged details and such so he could send me the the winnings um, and he asked if I wanted it unpainted or painted I was like you know what no send it to me painted um, and uh, you know we'll uh, that way I don't have to paint it up on I'm, I'm, I'm okay with you doing it. It's not that it's a complex paint job, so I'm sure whatever you do, you know, whatever you were going to do, you being the uh, Highland Terrain uh, studio, um, whatever you're going to do uh, would be fine by me. And uh, so he's like, okay, that's going to take a little bit of extra time. And I was like, no, no, no problem. Do do what, do what whatever you do. I'm, uh, I'm not in any rush for these. It's not like I need this. It's not like I was counting on winning. I just... I had subscribed and was following along, was having fun with the <laughs> with the the contest and and the the, the weekend and all the videos and uh, and uh, yeah, I was having a you know good time watching all this this footage coming out. Well, eventually um, he got back to me. He was running into some problems um, and it was going to be delayed. And then the problems got worse and they were delayed again. Um, and uh, he kept. Uh, kept contacting me, you know, you know, very, very apologetic, uh, you know, very, very sorry, he, he really, you know, he, he didn't want things to take this long, but, you know what, I understand, and it goes for anybody who's out there, things come up, okay, this was a contest, he didn't have to send me anything, well, I mean, legally, I guess he probably did, but, um, you know, I told him he didn't need to send me anything, but it's fine. He, he, he wanted to. He wanted to stick by the contest, which is, you know, big ups to him. Um, you know, he's a man true to his word. So um, if you do end up uh, getting any work done by him, you at least know that he, he's a very honest uh, person. And I will put uh, links and information down in the doobly-doo uh, about uh, him and... Uh, and his channel and everything and um, 
such. But uh, yeah, he finally sent me the package. It's this big. I don't know. It won't, even, it won't even fit in the camera. But I won't show you the other side. This has got my address and his address and all the addresses and all that kind of stuff. Um, he is out of the States. So obviously it took a little bit of time getting here. Um, but luckily I didn't have to pay customs. So uh, we were uh, good in that regard. Gotta hate when you, you win a contest and then... Uh, you gotta pay uh, duty on it. So, get a trusty knife, and we're gonna open this up here and see exactly what he sent me. Now, he, he did a video of what would be included. I'm pretty sure he did a video of what would be included in the package. Um, yeah, it was part of the, I think it was part of the weekend series where he was explaining everything and what he did and such. And uh, so. But it's been so long, honestly, I don't remember what it is. And yes, I could go back and check the videos and such, but... Eh. Why would I do that? I got a box full of it right here. Alright. Uh, the moment of truth. Hey, here we go. Uh, you know what? He's got business cards, so I will show off his business card. How's that sound? See that? So yeah, if you uh, want to check out his website, HighlandTerrain.com. Uh, I guess he's got an email, HighlandTerrain at gmail.com. I won't give you his phone number, it was on the card, but either way. Comes complete with uh, pink bubble wrap. Lots of is this just a box full of pink bubble wrap? Like it is just a box full of pink bubble wrap. Hey, oh! Here we go. Oh, cool. So. This looks like it'd be something you would use, um... Maybe in like a D and D, making a, a dungeon type thing. So it's wall pieces like this. <laughs> I I'm great at putting together puzzles. And it's all foam and put together. So there's let's see. So of these pieces, let's. You know what, let me get all this stuff out of here. Set it aside. Holy crap, there's a lot of it. Holy crap! Such a big, you know what, such a big box. <laughs> Most of it was big bubble wrap, <laughs> but... So much foam in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it makes me want to build terrain. Okay. So. Jeez Louise. Oh my god. There's. You know what? When he showed it on his video. I remember thinking, okay, whatever, it's, it's, it's foam walls and such, looks okay, but damn, this is actually kind of cool. Okay, so, of the walls that I was just showing you, there's this many, yep, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 18, 20 of those, there are four of these long walls, which looks like it'd be three of those sections. So there's four of these uber sized ones. There are, uh, looks like five, five walls, which are exactly the same as the original, the first walls, except they have this 
granny grading uh, sort of thing. So it's sort of, I guess, like a sewer system or blocked off, but there's five of those. Oh, I'm going to put it all. Oh, my God. Um, looks like there are four half blocks. Yeah, I guess they're half blocks. Four of these. There's ten. Was it ten? Yeah, ten of these, which are the door sections. Ten door sections. There are four double wall sections. Four of those. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like ten of these, which are end caps, so there's two different kinds, so I'm guessing there's five and five, so five of these and five of these. Nicely. And finally, one of the coolest things I'm. Yes, ten of these little coffins. All made out of foam. And they're all sort of, you know, they all have their own little uniqueness because they're all individual. Yeah, that's everything I got in this box. This is pretty cool. I want to play some kind of vampire dungeon game. Something or other. I don't know. I'd be, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Makes me want to play with it. I'm like a kid here in a candy store and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Oh my god, not only is it like a present and Christmas and opening stuff, and, but it's gaming and oh my god, this is so awesome. Oh, it's like Lego, I just want to put it all together. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my god. And it's so weird. You know what? It's so... This isn't hard to make. You could make it yourself, but... I don't know. This looks so good. I don't know. He gets it so uniform, and everything looks like like it's meant to go together. Like... You know what? Kudos, dude. Like this... I did not expect it to be as cool as it is. Thank you very much. This. Wow. I'm actually kind of blown away. As simple as this is, this is really cool. You know what's going through my head right now is what, what I can make with this. What, what I'm going to use it for. Well, you know, like, am I going to keep it modular? Because they stay together pretty well. Um. There's no, it's not loose or anything, so you could use it over and over and over again. Just make duck. Maybe that, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to use it for. Yeah. Yeah, instead of building something permanent, I think I'm going to keep it as something for like D&D &D or role playing or, or something along those lines if you ever have to go into whatever a, a dungeon or a, uh, I guess even technically if you want to do it cinder block shape so it could be a a warehouse a very weird warehouse with a maze in it well, that's role playing man anything can happen don't judge me 
But anyways, that's why I had I had to I had to do this video. I'm sorry for those of you looking for the looted wagon update. It is coming. I keep forgetting. You know what? I, I I'll give you a reason. <laughs> it, okay, it's an excuse. I will admit it. I'll give you an excuse why uh, I haven't put up the update yet. I keep forgetting my drill bits in my car, and I need bigger drill bits. And that's some, I know it's a stupid excuse. But that's the reason why I haven't done the next update on that. Cause I need drill bits. Yeah, I'm lame, I know. But it is something I have been working on, and I've changed it a couple of times. So give me credit there. It's not something where I've just thrown it together and, and gone with what I had. I have been different, I don't know, different thoughts, different schematics to come up with what I'm, eventually is going to be the end result, and you know what's going to suck? Because it doesn't matter how many times I I change my mind and, and go in different directions, I'm never going to be happy with the end result. That's the kind of person I am, and I just got to get past that. It's one of the reasons why it takes me so long to do all this kind of stuff. I sit there and plan and plan and plan instead of just doing it, and stuff ends up taking forever so tip for me just do it yeah I'm stealing that from Nike you know what they pfft, they haven't used it in years so anyways wanted to get this out there thanks a lot Steven uh, love it absolutely love it I didn't expect to um, like it as much as I do um, and when I turn off this this camera I am very likely going to be playing with it I'm not gonna lie I am gonna be playing with it so until next time this is Rob for more DACA 101